and it was almost like when we got to conference play, only playing three games, things felt slow. <laughs> Joe and Graf Field playing some really top tier competition. Base hit, left field. Jones gets the Rattlers started with a single. Gonna be doing the same. Back-to-back -back hits for the Rattlers. Watson singles. Two on, nobody out. Proximity is huge. Hard hit, could be two. Torres to Flaherty, Flaherty to Ross. 6-4-3, cleanly turned GDP. Bam, you trying to strike first. Hit out to right, Wade Kaser gets the start out there and makes the grab. First pitch swinging, Kerr slams it. Hits the base of the wall in left center. It was hit so hard, she's only gonna get a single out of it. Spurts away from the catcher. Game one against Texas Tech. Hit it hard again, almost identical spot to her walk-off position there. And doing well to try and stay in front of it was Amaya Gaynor. Hit hard, base hit. Harding delivers an RBI as Kerr scores. Throw into third, sliding in Torres, and it allows Harding to second. Two on, nobody down. Edenfield lifts it to right center, and it is gone off the scoreboard. Area 51, her first bomb of the year. This is why Michaela Edenfield is so dangerous. 0-2 pitch off the plate. She's so strong. Look at how she gets that barrel out of the zone, taking advantage and going opposite field. My personal favorite. Denise Patterson really likes Amaya Gaynor. Oh, you just saw why. Right back through the box on 0-2. Position for the Hall of Fame. Hot shot, Flaherty snags it. That was a BB from Duggins. <laughs> Time or two in my career, if I'm being honest. On the ground is short. Torres not able to field it cleanly. <laughs> On the ground, Flaherty. Underhand toss to Ross, side retired. With its presence and popularity across the country. See ya! My oh my, that was a moonshot here in Tallahassee for the freshman. And Jason, he beats him. Right off the bat, no doubter. And ironically enough, Arya hitting that ball all the way to the beach volleyball courts, it felt like. I mean, that's one of those as the outfielder. If you don't move, I don't think you get in trouble there. Feels like forever, but to just be getting started in that Florida State jersey, good stuff. Lawson game couldn't hold on and right off the bat of Waycase. Four healthy years, right? But hey. It all happens how it's supposed to. Okay, so take it second. Stolen base for the Florida State right fielder. And had to have you over there as well. <laughs> Kerr unloads, top of the wall. And a run's gonna come home to score in way case her second time today that Janai Kerr has hit a ball so hard off the outfield wall, she's only gotten a single out of it. <laughs> There's a base hit. To third. Territory. Got to play at least five, though. Head and field. Skies this one to second. Grab made there by Watson. The target on their back and all the expectation and pressure lives on them. Not a doubt. Today and this weekend, Troy Cameron does a wonderful job as well. How about a throw down? That in time, a uh, ball four, excuse me. 
Pay attention to the balls and strikes, Mr. Masudi. Irregardless. Way Kaser, Gainer, and the turn. Not scooped out. Hit hard, base hit much. One run will score. Rounding third, touching home plate is Way Kaser, and Mudge takes second. Haley Harding actually set the mark with 22 of them. Danley on the screws, but right at the third base in Canty. Bam needs two. Oh boy. The helmet. Davis is okay. Pressure. It's all about managing the expectation. Capitalizing on the ex execution portion. Getting some good opportunity here. Throws are Outside corner, strike three from Gooden. Hit on the ground. Step on second for one. And he throw down the first in time double play. We are going to look at it. Bueno trying to make the stretch. Does she get there in time? And they're going to overturn the call on the field. 3 1 misses. Bases are now full. With two outs, we talk about Clearwater. Swing and a miss. Gooden finishes a complete game shutout. And Florida State knocks off Florida A&M at 9 nothing. Second matchup between these two squads here in the Joanne Graff Classic, and we're ready to rock and roll. First pitch is a strike on the outside corner for Danley. He is having a good opening weekend. There's one that is tattooed by Torres. This is out of the glove or out of the path of Blasingane. Couldn't get to it. That was a screamer of a line drive. Gets to the right field wall. 3-0 pitch. And it's a four-pitch walk to Kaylee Harding. A little over a month to get ready for the 2023 season. Four-pitch walk to Ross. Bases are now loaded. 3-2. And Flaherty will take the walk. And that will score Isa Torres. Florida State with the first run of the game. It's part of the growth of softball in general. Beecham, opposite field line drive. That'll fall for a base hit. Harding scores, as does Ross. And Beecham, another big contribution for the Seminoles in the opening weekend as the Seminoles now up 3-0. Flexibility to her lineup. Mudge. Drills this one over the glove of Smith through the infield, and that'll drive in another run as Flaherty crosses the plate. Danley, oh, what a glove by Smith. <laughs> Went to her right, but leaned back Matrix style with the glove to snag that one, and highlight reel caliber by Smith and the Rattlers. Her opposite field grounder through the infield. And so a little leadoff hit for the Seminoles here in the second. Grounding base hits. Here's another one. There goes Harp, and she will get a stolen base. Morgan had a difficult time handling that pitch from Smith. Harding. Smooth swing, and there it is, but it goes right to the shortstop for FAMU. Tatiana Davis, however, that's another run batted in for Harding and the Seminoles. Makes it 5 nothing. Very creative mind when it comes to that. Nothing creative about this at bat, though. Four pitches outside the zone, you'll take a base. Samantha Smith trying to get the Rattlers out of this with only one run. This one, nice scoop over it short, but a errant throw by Davis. A stolen base attempt by Ross. She's safe, and it's a double steal as Edenfield read it well, and she will score. Six nothing, Florida State. Easily coming in to score. Clarity, opposite field hit. Maya Ross rounding third. She will come in and score. RBI single for number nine, and the Seminoles have a 7 0 lead now. Cruise control for Florida State. Jasani Beecham. Rounder over to short. Just gets the touch over at second base. Good job by Davis. Over to Watson to retire the side. Just the communication of what they're seeing out there. Sequence of pitches, something that can really get them into a good vibe. Hot shot right up the middle. 
right at the feet of Danley, and that's a base hit. Process that'll help us get to those wins. Swing and a miss. Morgan heads back to the dugout, 71. Here at Joanne Graff Field. This one high and in and gets away from Edenfield. Both runners will advance. Like we saw there, not exactly going to be on target. There's another one that gets away. Here comes Gaynor, and she will slide and get home. So a couple of pitches get away from Reed, and Edenfield not able to handle them, and the Rattlers have a run. Yeah. Leslin takes four pitches and will try it over to first. Grounder by Jones, partly not able to flip it over in time. Jones with the blazing speed, allows another run to cross the plate across the entire diamonds and the stands. And you'll hear the fans roar for a McKenna Reed strikeout. And when you can get the starter out of the game, Kaylee Harding, however, speaking of confidence, that's a confident swing that's belted out of the park. Straight away center field, Kaylee Harding. Just like that, re-extends Florida State's lead with the solo bomb. Kaylee Harding doing Kaylee Hardy things, responding so well. Momentum now back on the side of Florida State. Third bomb of the weekend for Kaylee Harding. All the extra base hits, too. I love to see it. So powerful in the box. They're from, they get behind or they allow a run in the previous half inning, and then they respond. Well, Jen nominees, maybe you can say Spider Woman as well, but a hard shot by Beecham into center field. She's trying to get to second and dig, and she's going to slide in safely. Hartley a little aggressive beyond third, and she gets in. Tag attempt over at third, so all Seminoles safe. There's an opening there where you're not covering the bag. Hudge, hard grounder over to second base, but easily collected by Watson. After the upset against Charlotte, as this is going to be a caught ball by Hart, two down. 3-1, Watson. Shoots this one through the infield for a base hit. Another two out hit for Watson and the Rattlers. One, two, swing and a miss. And that will wrap things up. McKenna Reed finishes the job for Florida State. Fourth victory of the year for the Seminoles.